we could do two of these methods. We could come in and use the square root method to get rid of the exponent. So we have x minus 7 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 81, which is 9. Isolate x, so we have x is equal to positive 7 plus or minus 9. So when we split our answers, we know that x is equal to 7 plus 9, which is 16. Or we could have x is equal to 7 minus 9, where we get x is equal to negative 2 as an answer. Another way that we could do this is we could expand a binomial. So when we expand a binomial, what we're going to have is x squared minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 81. Then we could subtract 81 on both sides. Once we do that, we're going to have x squared minus 14x minus 32 is equal to 0. And this is when we just do our regular factoring meaning it's going to multiply to give us 32, add to give us negative 14. So when I look at my factors, I'll have x minus 16 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then once we simplify one step further, we're going to have x is equal to positive 16. And then when we repeat this for the second factor, we're going to have x is equal to negative 2. Very helpful to know more than one technique when solving quadratic equations.